This is Othello by William Shakespeare. The play begins in the streets of Venus. Two persons are arguing together, Rodrigo and Diego. Rodrigo is a rich man who pays Diego to help him marry the heroine of the play, Desdemona. Diego is a very envious and jealous person. He serves as an ensign for Othello. Iago is also ambitious and he wants a higher position. However, Othello has favored his friend Cassio over him as his lieutenant. So, Iago has a good reason to hate Othello. Othello trusts and considers Iago as his loyal ensign. When Iago and Rodrigo heard about this Demona getting married to Othello, he was the raven by rage and envy. He took Rodrigo and went to Desdemona's house. They informed their father Brabantio that Desdemona was stolen and she is also getting married right now to Othello. Othello is a person that Brabantio believes as a slave and he never loves him. At first Brabantio didn't believe them but he didn't find his daughter in her bedroom. Brabantio collected the officers and went to stop the marriage. Iago quickly leaves because he's afraid to be blamed by Othello. At the same time, Cassio appears with an urgent message to Othello. The message says that Othello's help is needed to prevent the possible Turkish attack of Cyprus. Othello, the main character, has given full command of Cyprus by the state because of his skills in politics and war. When Brabantio knew that Othello is on his way to the Senate, he decided to accuse Othello for stealing his daughter by witchcraft. However, Brabantio plans backfired because Othello said that he won her heart not by witchcraft but by the stories of adventures and war. At that moment enters Desdemona and she defended her love and said that her allegiance is now for her husband, not her father. The Senate decided that Othello must go to Cyprus and Desdemona decided to go with her husband too. In Cyprus, a gentleman arrived and informed Montano, the governor of Cyprus, that the Turkish fleet tricked in a storm. The ships of Cassio arrived, followed by a ship that carries Rodrigo, Desdemona, and Iago, and his wife, Emilia. In no time, Othello arrived, saying that they would return home the same evening. That moment, Rodrigo complained to Iago that they won't be able to break their marriage. Iago said that soon she will be tired of Othello and she will look for another man to love. He also warned him that she may love Cassio. Iago then talks to himself that removing Cassio is the first step in ruining Othello's life. That night, Iago made Cassio drunk and sent Rodrigo to start a fight with him. During the fight, Montano wanted to stop Cassio and Cassio stabbed him. That moment, Iago told Rodrigo to raise the alarm in town. Othello asked who started the fight and Rodrigo told the whole story. This made Othello strip Cassio out of his position as his lieutenant. Cassio was very mad and he complained to Iago. Iago advised Cassio that he can get his position back only if Desdemona intermediates. Despite showing his good intentions as a good friend to everyone, Iago was only looking for his own benefit. He wants to get rid of Cassio and Othello at once. If Desdemona intermediates to return Cassio's rank, then he can convince Othello of her treason. Later that, Othello entered when Cassio was talking to Desdemona. 
feeling uneasy, Cassio leaves without talking to Othello. Iago then told Othello that his wife is an, in an affair with Cassio. When does Demona, with good intentions, ask to get Cassio back his rank, Othello's doubts raised. He felt unwell, so Desdemona wrapped her handkerchief around Othello's head, but it falls down and Emilia secretly takes it to Iago, who always wanted her to steer the handkerchief. Iago put the handkerchief in Cassio's room and advised Othello to ask Desdemona about it. After arriving home, Othello asked Desdemona for the handkerchief but she said it was missed and repeated her proposition to regain Cassio his rank. This extremely provoked more rage to Othello. When Cassio discovered the handkerchief, he asked Bianca his lover to copy it as he liked the embroidery. After that, Othello fell into the ground because he had a fit of epilepsy. That time, Cassio wanted to speak with Iago, but Iago told him to come back in a few minutes. When Othello recovers, Iago directed them to hide behind the curtains, just to approve this Demona's and Cassio's betrayal to him. Cassio comes in, and Iago started to talk about his love affair, and Cassio laughs, approving Iago's words. While Iago and Cassio are talking about Bianca, Othello thought it is Desdemona. After that comes Bianca scolding Cassio for making her copy a handkerchief of another woman. After that comes Desdemona and Lodovico having a message from Venice. This message is calling Othello home and replacing him with Cassio. This message drove Othello mad. At night, he called Desdemona a whore and told her to wait for him in bed and to send Emilia away. Meanwhile, Iago is still telling Rodrigo that everything is going on according to the plan. But to prevent Othello from leaving, Rodrigo has to kill Cassio. Iago instructed Rodrigo to ambush Cassio, but again, Cassio wanted him. Iago could wound the Cassio in the darkness as well. Before the guards come to cure Rodrigo, Iago puts a sword in his stomach unmercifully. Othello is facing this Demona with her infidelity, but she insisted that she is innocent. Othello, who never believed her, smothered her to be killed. Desdemona was crying out that she was murdered, but when she saw Emilia coming, she said that she committed suicide. However, Othello approved that he killed her because of her infidelity. Also, Emilia tried to defend Desdemona, but Othello told her that Iago has shown him a strong evidence, the handkerchief. Iago killed Emilia and fled but later he was caught by Lodovico and Montano. Lodovico brought Cassio in a chair and told Othello he must come to Venice to be tried. Othello gave a speech on how he wanted to be remembered and killed himself with a sword. Lodovico gives Othello's house and goods to Graziano and he orders that Iago must be executed. This was the end of the play. This Demona has been killed by her husband, who later killed himself because he felt so stupid to be conceived by Iago and for his feeling of regret. Emilia was also killed by her husband, but because she showed his black plays over Othello. At the end, it is clear that Iago is a man who was killed by his ambition and Othello was killed by his silliness and suspicion. The play also proves that good manners like ambition can take the lives of many people.